are here tonight to celebrate your wonders, your miracles, your goodness in our lives. We pray, God of heaven, that tonight you will accept all our worship and all our praises tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying that tonight, oh God, you will strengthen every one of us by your spirit and power. I pray, Lord, that you will breathe upon us the breath of your spirit and power tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Manifest yourself in our lives, oh God. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we have a topic that we put on the platform, and we want to take our time just briefly, because we are going to have a pastor's meeting later. So, but before then, I want to spend this time to really pray unto the Lord. I'm reading from Psalm 86. Psalm 86. If you have your Bible there, please open uh, your Bible along with us. But if you don't have, just listen as I read the Word of God. In Psalm 86. I want to read from verse 15 all through to the last verse, verse 17 there. Psalm 86, from verse 15, 15 to 17. It says, But thou, but thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, <coughs> and gracious, long suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. Then in verse 16, he said, O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the form of thy handmaid. Now look at verse 17. He now began to speak to the Lord, he began to call upon God, asking God for something. And what did he pray? He said, show me a token for good. Lord. In other words, what he was asking God for, just a token of his goodness. Mm. A token of God's goodness, just a tattoo, just a just a little, just a kind of fraction mm. of his goodness. So he said, God, I'm not asking so much, but even the little you are going to give me, I know that that little that in the sight of human being, it may look little, but it's much in the sight of God. Mm. He said, God, show me a token for good. Mm. That they who take me may see mm. it and be ashamed because mm. thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Mm. This is what we are praying about tonight. And that's why we are going to start by praising God. Firstly, we are going to appreciate God. That verse that we started with in verse 15 says, God is full of compassion. That means mm. it's a merciful God. Mm. It's a loving God. It's the God that cares for his own. That's why we are going to appreciate God tonight. We want to bless him. We want to thank him. We want to think about all that God of heaven has done for you and I. Mm. Right from January to this time, he kept mm. us, he preserved us, he has been watching over us, he wouldn't mm. allow the end the, and the arrows of the wicked to come near us. In fact, mm. sometimes when we are when we are sick, he's mm. always there to heal us and to make and to bring us back on our feet again. We want mm. to bless the name of the Lord. That's good. Time, God, can Thank you, you please Father. close your eyes now and begin to That's honor God and begin to praise God. Let's give him all the praises tonight. I'm privileged you are going to I want to appreciate God. I want to be very aware. 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 I want to be
is a gracious God. Is the God of all yes, grace yes. and power. I appreciate you saying the God of my salvation. Invite the name of the Lord. Lord. Who are then wondrously with me? Thank you, Father. Father. Your protection, your security, your healing, your deliverance, your power of my life. Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, I honor you tonight. Thank you, you have done great things in my life. You are you to have keep me alive. Oh God, I exalt you. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, everlasting Father, God, we reference you. God, we thank you. Thank you once again, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And God, our Father, we thank you for, your, for the way you have preserved our lives, O oh God, from all the dangers. No, no, Baba. Let me thank you for your for my life. I will fight you. Baba, I used to be there. Even though people are looking at me, and they make it in the back of the head, I bring it to the head. Asking and asking and asking and asking. Let me mm. tell you, the results mm. you will get when you are praising God is far, far higher than what you are going to get when you are asking. Mm. That's why we should learn, we should cultivate the habit of praising God. We have had people that used to praise God in the Bible. Look at Joshua in Second Corinthians chapter 20. Praising God alone. God stood on their behalf and begin to and begin to defend them and begin to fight on their behalf before you do it. Those nations that came against them, they began to fight against each other. That's what they that's the power of praise. And that is what they can do. Hallelujah. 
So that's why I said we should learn to praise God. Let's take this song Amen. Amen. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? assisting us on this online prayer meeting. His grace is sufficient unto every one of us, for all our pastors, all our sisters, all our brethren on this platform. God has been sustaining us. We want to open our mouth to say, Father, thank you once again, because even though you have helped us, can you please open your mouth and begin to appreciate God for every member of this on this platform, open your mouth and begin to praise God. Let's give him all the praises. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's give him all the praises and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, God will bless your name. Thank you once again, oh Lord. Thank you for the way you've been helping us, oh God. Almighty God for all our pastors on this platform. All our Pastor leaders, Son. all our Rapid brothers, Pastor. all our yes. sisters, everyone yes. represented, oh God, yes. on this yes. platform, yes. oh God. Almighty yes. God, yes. everlasting yes. Father, yes. Lord, we yes. say thank you. Yes. 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 Father, we say, yes. we say yes. thank you, oh Lord. Righteous yes. God, immortal God, yes. everlasting Father, God, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, and this spirit, God, we bless you. Yes. Yes. Lord, we thank you for your God is blessing. God is honoring you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Now, David said, he said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. Not, hear. not even answering. He said, the Lord will not hear. There is difference between hearing and answering. He said, mm. if I regard iniquity, sin, in mm. my heart, God, Almighty, we are not here, not to talk of hearing, of answering. So we are going to pray tonight. You want to examine yourself. You want to check up your life. Is our heart still right in the sight of God? Is our life still, still right in the sight of God? We want to check up our life. Bible says, examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. He said, know ye not your own self and that Jesus Christ is in you. Except ye ye be reprobate. We want to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, every pollution of sin in our thoughts, in our hearts, in our motive, in our life. We want to pray that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, every every filthiness of the flesh, oh God, 
Let everything be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord this morning? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's open our mouth and pray to God and say, God, Lord, I present myself unto you this mouth to God. Righteous God, merciful God, loving God. Let the power and the blood of Jesus Christ begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, night of God, every pollution of sin, every defilement, whatever it is that wants to stand against our prayer tonight, always to God, let the power and the blood of Jesus Christ be to our being once we give us to this night. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in a secret, in a book, in a land, in a heart, in a heart, let the whole of the body be cleansed, but we cannot be cleansed, but come to the door of you. We cannot be in the liquid, and it's only in the flesh. In Jesus, we cleanse in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want Amen. to pray in line with what we have just, what we put on the platform. In that Psalm 86, where we read, I read to us from verse 15, all through to verse 17. Now look at that verse 16 of that text. He said, Oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. I told mm. us sometimes ago, one of the greatest prayers you can ever pray is prayer for God's mercy. The yes. year is running to an end. Ah, little by little, we start with the year. I from January 1st, the Lord help us. We cross over from January to February, to February, from February to March, from March to April, April to May, May to June, June to July, July to oh. August, September, uh-huh. October, November, and this is December. God has that. shown us mercy. Uh, yes. And that's why we, we have come to the last month of the year. We cannot afford to take things for granted. We want mm. to still ask God and say, God, oh Lord, turn unto me. That is, in other words, what David, what David was saying is, God, face me. Face me like this. Focus your attention on me and show mm. me your mercy. Just mm. like when Brian Bartimaeus was praying, what did he say? He said, have mercy on me. Jesus, thou oh, no. David. Me, that was the prayer. That was the content of his prayer. Mm-hmm. And he was mm-hmm. praying with all his heart, with all his mind. We want to ask God and say, God, face me tonight. Turn unto me, O God, and yeah. show me your mercy. Have yeah. mercy upon my soul. Even as the year is coming to an end, your mercy upon our lives. Your mercy upon your wife. Your mercy upon your husband. Your mercy upon every one of our children. Your mercy upon everything that we have all around us. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Father, Open in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Only Father, we pray for God. Rise from God, everlasting God, come unto me and have mercy upon my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, Almighty God, and I see my soul to God. I see God. And see, oh, ask you what I'm missing. The mess upon myself, upon my wife, I see. I'm missing, Lord. Now you're missing your own soul. Oh, you're missing your own soul. Grace is a business. I see my name every morning. You know that prayer. So that makes you feel that. Let your message be sacred. Let your message be sacred. The word is spirit and soul. I have mercy on you. I mercy on my household. I have mercy on my wife. I have mercy on my children. I have mercy upon me. Let the mercy of the Lord be so sacred. Let your mercy be 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 sacred. Have mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon my life. 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 
You know, I told us last week, by the grace of God, some people started this year. When, they, when we started this year, it was jubilation. It was celebration, celebration of joy. Mm. But lo and behold, that joy did not last. It was, it was cut short. Mm. And uh, we don't want our own case to be like that, brethren. That's why we are going to pray. Some people started with vibrancy. Even in their Christian life, along the line, some backslided. Along the line, mm. some, they lost their... their they lost, they lost their fervency. They lost the vigor. They lost all the energy of the spirit. In fact, they lost the spirituality. And they are weak. How can you start the year in the spirit? And you are ending the year as a weak person. How can you start okay. the year, you know, with God? And then you want to end the year with Satan. How can you start the year in the yeah. presence of God? And then you want to end the year. In the presence of demons and evil spirit, you are going to pray and say, mm. God, turn on to me once again, oh God. And mm. have mercy upon me, oh God. Lord, I want I want to end this year in the strength of the Lord, mm. in the power of the Lord, mm. in the fullness of God's grace and mm. might. Open your mouth and begin to pray Father, tonight. In the name are you of praying? Jesus. Open your Father, mouth and begin to talk to God. Say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, you have to be as our sister to start this year. In your presence, in your in power, spirit, in your dominion, in your dominion. Oh Lord, I want in your to be oh God, you are not in the, in the joy in of the Lord. I want to hear this year with the greatness of your power. With an anointing that breaks every yoke. Oh God, I want to hear this year. Father, something the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want to be I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be, you know, to be sorry. I want to be taken by your mercy. That you put the Lord is God of strength in you. And the power that brought this heart in you. In the name of Jesus. That the power of the Lord. The anointing of the spirit of the Lord will come to me again. How many for seventy? In the name of Jesus, I want to start the fresh. I want to end with joy. I have started with joy. I have started with joy. I want to be a part of the people. I want the spirit of the Lord to come back. I want the power of the Lord to give me strength. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Still on that prayer again, that prayer is all encompassing. So when I give a prayer request like this, please, as much as you can expand it, you know mm. the areas that you are lacking. Yes. You know the areas that it appears things have not been going on well. Mm. When I say that some people started the year, let's take for example now, maybe you have been asking God for something, and that thing is yet to be accomplished in your life. You know that you are of age, for example, and you should have settled down to marry, and then you are, you are still here to get married. This prayer also is applicable to you. You know that you are having one particular ailment or sickness in your body, and you are saying, God, it is time. Take away this stigma. Take away this appellation of darkness, appellation of sickness, appellation of you know infirmity and affliction out of my life, so that my life can be totally complete. That's why we yes. are praying. And that was mm. why David was praying in verse 17. Mm. He said, show me a token for good. You know, yes. I want to look at something about blind Bartimaeus. Please get it right. I don't have the time to read it to us. If you take your time to read very well, in Mark chapter 10, you will discover that the Bible categorically called him. He said, blind Bartimaeus. That means mm. that thing was a stigma. Any anytime they are looking for him, they will say, Is it that blind one? That blind Batimos? Mm -hmm. Ah, they said they know him. 
They use his sickness, his affliction to, to recognize him. Mm. There are people like that. Maybe, let's say, for example, now, maybe the person is having ear problem. They say, oh, is it that man that is uh, that cannot hear? Ah, they know, they, they say, ah, they, that's where he stays. Is it that one that the leg is not balanced? They say, ah, they know him, that's where he is. Is it that mm. one that uh, maybe is having one challenge or the other? Ah, they say they know, they, can't, they are using his sickness to trace him. We are going to pray tonight and say, God, show me a token for good tonight. As the year is coming to an end, oh God, every kind of thing that is in your life that the enemy has been using and they say, ah, this one, they cannot come out of it. You are going to pray and say, God, show me a token of your goodness tonight and show me your mercy. Open your mm. mouth and to pray to God tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Can you please open I your mouth and pray to God, God tonight. That your and mercy, thank God and say, God, show me a token of your goodness. A token of your goodness. A token of your mercy. A token of your kindness. A token of your goodness. A token of your kindness. A token of your mercy. Only Lord, to God. Show me good in my brother, sister, in my water sister, in my flesh. Father, show me a token of good. You know what Jesus let your good and let your let your let my flesh let my flesh flow in Jesus let me be fight and flourish in the mighty name of Jesus I pray to my city I curse you show me for talking so good of God you can show me talking about God let me my flesh be fabricated again let my flesh come back Amen. We want to use this medium to pray for one of our brothers, our beloved brother. He said he just wrote a prayer request, and I want to read it exactly the way he wrote it. He said, please, Pastor, let the people of God pray for me that God will silence the voices of the spirits that are following me. And deliver, and deliver me from the spirit of madness. Mm. We, want to pray. we want to pray. Light and darkness, they have nothing in common. Mm. And that is why we are going to pray tonight. Every operation of the powers of darkness in the life of this individual, in the life of this writer, we want to pray tonight. Let God in his supreme power Begin to oh. terminate all those operations of darkness in his life. Open Amen. your mouth and begin to pray. Father, and in the name of Jesus, we will come against every operation of the enemy in this in this request, in this prayer request, in this life of this prayer request. In this Lord, I pray every manipulation of the enemy, every strange force, every house of the devil walking contrary to our head. Lord, I want to run a man. I want to run him back. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I put that to that church. In the name of Jesus. Every place of the practice of the enemy. Every straight voice. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Lord, this is him like that. I manifest your power. You did the voice of madness, 
We want to pray once again that the Prince of Peace, Jesus, the one who gives peace in our spirit, peace mm. in our soul, peace Amen. in our thoughts, peace Amen. in our body, peace Amen. all over. We are going to Amen. pray that the Prince of Peace will reign and dominate it right in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the place to fulfill destiny, the Lord will Amen. grant us peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Open Amen. your mouth and begin to pray for him now. Open your mouth and follow up with the other state for the peace of God, the peace of peace, the peace of God, 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 we want to pray for one of our, our leaders the request was given yesterday during the prayer meeting i think on thursday the same thing we want to pray for him he has been having high blood pressure and he has been diagnosed for having diabetes we want to pray tonight you know god has given us let me just read a portion of the scripture to us jeremiah chapter 33 please if you have your bible there you can just join me as we just briefly look at it jeremiah chapter 33 the book of jeremiah chapter 33 before we pray and we are going to use this as a pay of agreement unto the law. Jeremiah chapter 33, I read from verse 3. I read verse 3, then I will move down to verse 6 and 7. Or let me read from verse, verse 3 and verse, uh, verse 6. He said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. In verse 6 of that. And then he I said, will, Behold, I will I bring unto it health and cure. cure. Health Amen. and cure. Health Amen. and cure. Meaning that Amen. he's going to restore back wholesomeness, total mm. health, cure oh, man. to man. our body. And I want mm. to tell you that if you are also sick, see yourself that God is doing the same thing in your life now. Any Amen. kind of disease, all manner of disease or infirmity. He said, I will bring it health and cure, and I will yes. cure them. I will cure them. Not one, not two, not three. I will cure them. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Yes. Shall we pray for your mouth and begin to pray? We want to tell God and commit our pastor into the hand of God. Any kind of kind of disease, all the sicknesses of the Egyptian, the eyes of pressure, the diabetes, everything. Tonight, we I will bring him and kill. And I will see the abundance of peace. Lord, let's pray. I think of the team to open hands. Abundance of peace in his life. Restoration of wholeness. Right away now in the name of Jesus. Let the healing fetch you from Balaji's hand. Go straight with God. Stream and walk as a woman. In the name of Jesus. 
in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We are still following again concerning the prayer of uh, David. He said, Oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. And what did he say later? He said, show me a token for good. Our mm. pastor here, they need, he need the token of God's goodness. He need the mercy of God. We want to pray. We don't want to know. I know some things might have happened in the time past. Yet, probably because of one thing or the other, either disobedience or because of, and yet we have prayed for mercy. And yet we have mm. prayed, and we are still praying now. We want to ask yes. God, oh God, let your mercy prevail. Oh God, Amen. let your mercy prevail. Oh God, Amen. let your mercy speak on his behalf. The mercy Amen. of God, the goodness of Amen. God, the kindness of God. Amen. And I say, the of the mercy of God, the Lord will show him a token of his goodness and healing totally and completely. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are all the and pray. Anything that makes you sorrowful is grief. Anything that brings sadness to your life is grief. Anything that makes you to be discouraged is grief. Anything that doesn't make you to be happy in life, that thing is very, you know, is grief. He said, surely he has borne our griefs. I want you to begin to imagine and begin to visualize Jesus carrying everything upon himself. He carried all the griefs. He carried all your sorrows. He carried all your sicknesses. He carried all the affliction. He carried all the high blood pressures. He carried all the hypertension. He carried all the diabetes. He carried all the lung, all the problem of the lungs. He carried all the asthma. He carried all any kind of sickness of the and he carried everything on the cross. He says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him speaking, speaking of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are here. We want to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, according to your word, you have carried all our griefs, all our sicknesses, all the affliction, all the pain, all the infirmity. And so there must be no sickness in our body. There must be no infirmity in the body of our pastor. We want to pray and say, God, every fountain, everything that, that is there, all the high blood pressure, all the diabetes, let everything now. We want to put it upon our Lord Jesus and say, Jesus Christ, 
begin to liberate your servant, begin to heal him totally and completely. And by your stripes, make him whole. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, by the stripe of Jesus Christ, let him be liberated completely and totally. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray once again for him. Pray for the servant of the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, you did not put that sickness upon him. You did not plant that sickness upon him. Every plant which you have not planted shall be rooted up. Begin to root it out now. Begin to root everything out now. Begin to root it out from the blood, from the bone, from the marrow, from anywhere. But the crown of his head down to the soul of his feet. Let there be calmness in his system. Let there be calmness in his body. Let there be calmness concerning his health now. Let there be restoration of sound health and stability. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray once again for the top of the Lord. The mighty hand of God to begin to prevail upon him now. The mighty hand of God to begin to do wonders in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, was again to to God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we want to pray. Lastly, we still want to pray for his family. What is actual that has gone wrong in the family, and the devil is taking advantage of that to torment the servant of God who is devoted unto this work of God and the will of God, whether with the wife and all that. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to call upon the Lord. God in your power, God in your mind, arrest the heart of the, of the, of the second half. When I say second half, I mean the, the wife. The Holy Ghost will prevail upon her. All the manipulation of the devil in her life, in our thoughts, in our behavior, in our character, in our entire personality, all the dominance of Satan in our life, everything will be brought to an end completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for the wife and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, whatever may be the, the upper hand that Satan is having for the life of that woman, he's behaving, acting normally, and they're doing anything contrary to the will of God. They want to pass me. Oh, let the peace of peace be take over in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has answered. Amen. Let's open our mouth to appreciate God tonight. As we have to. Auto mic to round of this session, please. Thank you, Lord. We glorify the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's appreciate God. Pastor Mike, please, you can help us round of this Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to thank and appreciate you. Thank you for all that you have been doing. Thank you for all you will continue to do. Holy Father, we come before you. You give us your promise. Just as we have asked today in the side of the scripture, that the promises of God are ye and amen, that God is not a man that he should lie. Father, we believe your word. You give Abraham your word, you never failed Abraham. You give, oh God, the people of God, the evils of faith, you give them your word, you never disappointed them. Father, it is written. Whatever God has not joined together, whatever God has joined together, rather, let no man put asunder. O oh God, we stand up upon this promise because we know you cannot fail. Father, you instituted marriage. And when you made marriage, 
the need for oh God for a good purpose. But Satan has entered into some marriages. He has sown tears into marriages, into, into, into families. Father, we take authority in the name of Jesus. Every tear who go represented in the family of our dear pastor. We pray, Lord, that the fire of the Holy Ghost will consume every tear in that family. In Jesus' name, mighty Amen. God, I pray whatever represented, whatever represented in that family, oh God, I pray, the day it entered, the day it was sown, the person that sowed it, the hand that put it there, oh God, I am praying, by the power in the name of Jesus, of this seed of Satan, of this seed of God, oh God, I pray, whatever Amen. diabolical means that was used, oh God, putting his back against his wife, of putting his wife against his against the husband. Oh God, I decree every any work of the devil. I cancel it in Jesus' name. I pray that the intention of God was manifested. That if I destroy the work of the devil, oh God, I pray anywhere, anywhere where the work of the devil is operating in the family of our pastor. Oh Lord, we pray. Let it be cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. We read that scripture, but it is written. What has joined together, let no man put asunder. Anything, any man, any woman, any personality that want to put asunder, they go to what you are joined together. Oh God, I pray. Rain thunder, rain brings stones from heaven and destabilize them and destroy their power and let them not be able to perform the enterprise in Jesus' name. Amen. I would say, you are the God, our healer. Father, you told us in that book of Isaiah chapter 53, God, our pastor quoted that bit again, especially, you are born, oh God, our grief. Oh God, we stand upon that scripture. Oh God, you say by your pride, we are healed. Every sickness, oh God, in the life of our pastor, the one in the cell, the one in the tissue, the one in the organ, the one in the system. Oh God, the day it entered, the day it started, the symptom of the sickness. Oh God, I dip my mouth into the blood of Jesus and I make this pronouncement. Oh God, every sickness in that body, hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says, I shall lay out on the sick and they shall recover. I decree the root of that sickness. The origin of that sickness, the materials of that sickness, I command you in the name that is greater than every other name, the name oh. of Jesus. I command you to dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I decree our pastor is made whole to the glory Amen. of the Lord. Thank you for answering prayers. In Thank Jesus' you, mighty name, we are saved. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Um, tonight, actually, is for a special meeting. That's why we have to round off. Actually, I've been trying to use that to wait for our beloved pastor, Pastor Ali. I think he's online now. So over to Hello, Pastor Ali. Hello, yeah, thank Pastor you so much, Pastor Shagun. Thank you. God bless you. I'm, I'm so yeah. grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, without going to much preambles, I think we have just uh, very little minutes. I'm sorry for coming late because something like this full of activity. We have a follow-up prep meeting and it's also collides with the time we have in a meeting. So I'm very sorry for that. I have to... Uh, left that message to able to join this meeting. Uh, without going too much preamble, now, thank you, Pastor Mike. The date for our, uh, what do you call it, our ending of the year uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, so, why not Why not on the 30th? Of the 30th will be on Saturday. The reason why I say on the 30th is that we have more people on the 30th. And being Sunday, you understand, is like pastor's prayer meeting let's make it general 
Okay, let's put it like on the last uh the, the last day of our, our, our prayer meeting after the retreat on the thirty of this month December. Okay, so that will be on Saturday by one by two p.m. I think that will be very okay. Hello. If it is on that we mostly agreed on, then we can go by that date. If we all agree that it's okay, it's fine. Uh, yes, that is why that is why we call it very well. Hello? Brainstorm. We take a decision now. Because I'm suggesting on the 30 of this month, it it will be by 2 p.m. Nigeria time. So that other people will connect. Being Sunday, we all know uh, Sunday is so for the uh, pastor's pray, uh, past, uh, uh, I mean, um, pastor's prayer meeting. 17, Sunday, pastor's prayer meeting. So people are not familiar with that day. Why not on Saturday? By, by two, by the other time. I think it will be okay. It's fine, sir. Uh, I think uh, for me, uh, I I concur with that start today. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, Pastor. Yes, I'm I'm in agreement with that uh, on the 30th, on the 30th of uh, this month, which is a Saturday. Because uh, 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 the we have many I we have many participants on that day. Yes. And, uh, we can, we can make that day a special day. That's the Thanksgiving day to appreciate God for all that He has done for us. That's my own suggestion, anyway. So, our time is time is going. Please, let's be fast. Our time is going. Uh, what about? Is it going? Is the lab, the time of the program? Is it not going to affect the workers' meeting in Nigeria? That's number one. Number two, in America here, you know, it is four in eight o'clock. We don't know how many people that will go to work. So uh, I think the mistake is, especially for somebody like me, that it has been coming to my mind. I didn't read it very early. I don't know why. So that's what I'm thinking. But if, if you know, like I, I will be rushing from work. Don't consider me. Either me, I will be there, but I will be coming from work. You know what I say? You know I work in the night. Then, yeah, so it will be like a, the hour, uh, the hours of victory. It will take the hour of victory in the United States. And it will take the hour of victory in, in Nigeria too. So, but what are we, are you not going to be rushing for a workers meeting? Then United uh, States, our people are not going. Uh, Pastor Matthew. Is the same is the same hour of victory we are we are we are be uh, meetings of before we go to workers of workers meeting. It will not it will not affect our workers meeting. Just like we okay. are operating on Saturday. Last week Saturday we have it with workers meeting. So okay. it will not so, affect our workers meeting. Yeah, so does that mean it's going to be scheduled like one hour because like by the time we use one hour in the uh in the hour of victory it will seem uh, like uh, some of our pastor are ready preparing to go to work. So is it going to be limited to one hour? Or one, uh, one so and a half much, hour? Pastor. Yeah. So it's going to be limited with one hour. One, number two, is there is no special uh, thing on that. So when we break those one hour down, okay, it's going to be limited with just one hour uh, Thanksgiving uh program so i will advise that somebody quickly if whatever one want to do that's why that we need the we have the uh the 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 routine somebody if you quickly draw the program whatever we want to do so that you can see how fit and how minute how you get what i'm saying either that will be praise and worship either that will be bible reading or not either that so that so that we can quickly see that thing should come out by Thursday, so that everybody can see. It's okay. I I, I will work that out with Pastor Shego. Okay. Okay. I work that.
and uh, what I want to say again is this. Please, pastors, we, pastors, please. It has come to our notice that we don't use to be available in our online prayer meeting. On Thursday, on Saturday, especially on Sunday, pastors' prayer meeting. Let's try to endeavor to change that. Okay? And also, I may mean, also say this, uh, Pastor Matthew, please, we, we, we really appreciate you. And God has raised you up. And you are the con uh, convener of this uh, prayer, online prayer meeting. Okay? And I thank God how God has been using you. You are a father, you are a friend, and all that. So please, just let's try to actually, uh, the challenges we are going through, we should try to limit it with uh with the uh, pastors uh, prayer pastors prayer meeting bringing it publicly i think it will not be so good for us as pastors now let me let me say something why I, I say this somebody called me he said yeah what pastor matthew is saying have you heard about pastor matthew wife pastor matthew mother-in-law outside that he was telling me that ah what is in of all this? I say, well, I say it just so that as a family, we should pray along with him. So he said, no, 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 no. He's a pastor, and he should be saying that publicly. I will see what he was saying. Do you know that? That particular person, up to now, he stopped joining our online prayer meeting. Because as you, 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 you are playing a, a vital role in the ministry for us coming up bringing our uh, family problem family challenges to public number one there are witches and wizards that are connecting online with us number two not everybody is happy with your progress in that same online prayer meeting these are people you have not met in life they connected and these are people they have a plot and program you understand so please if we have challenges let, we can bring it upon the prayer uh, pastor's platform. We can pray over it and, and then we keep quiet. If we are bringing our problem challenges about our mother-in-law, my, my son, my wife did this, he did that to me. And a member can say that, but as a pastor, a minister, we should try to control our I will try to control ourselves, not bringing our challenges to public publicly and people will be thinking something else and it will even scare people from from actually approaching us if they have challenges so people approach me for this issue and i, I address them uh address it maturely you understand so please let's endeavor like on saturday now uh when on saturday yes when uh, we make mention of something so pastor ojo or to speak the same thing again. I have to I have to stop Pastor Ojo. So he now told me that we need to pray for Pastor Matthew, blah blah blah. It's not good. Mother in law, he must go out. I say, come, you don't see this too publicly. I said, this is we bring to Pastor's prayer meeting. We pray, we believe go, and then we brainstorm to give one another's body. The people publicly, they are not part of us. You don't know them. They have some kind of another mission. Some, some are not even happy that uh, things are going well with you. So please, let's try to reduce the challenges we have. Don't bring the, your challenges to, as a minister publicly. It can scare people away. People will lose confidence in, in on our leadership. People will not trust us as they also trust us. Ah, they will say, what is all this one and all that. So please, let's try to uh control ourselves and let's bring some challenges to pastors prayer meeting we pray over it and then we, we keep going and this this also go to all pastors in the platform please gs was having a challenge when we have african white crusade nobody knew it was the church secretary that was telling some of so, so, some of the pastors in, in, in lagos here and wow i hear gs have to go everywhere doing that lagos white crusade african white mm. crusade from from mm. one group of this street or another group of this street was going all over Lagos after that mm. process and it was going through challenges a physical challenge and yet nobody knew about it in fact the church secretary was even saying that Papa should even rest he 
do not rest. If you come to the computer and say this, 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 this and that, he keep on preaching the word. So please, let's try to manage our challenges. Bringing our challenges to the public. My mother-in-law is rich. My mother-in-law is this, that, this. that. We will pray for it here in Pastor's prayer meeting. Or we can put it in general uh, uh, pray, pray, prayer meeting. Without, let's pray for somebody in our midst. A mother-in-law is serving him to serve God. We pray for, for a, a pastor coming up, saying something publicly. I think it's, it's not befitting. It's not a spoken way of us. Let the devil, let God give us wisdom and God will help us. That go to every one of us as pastors. Let's be very, let's take note of that. I pray God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sorry, I have, I have one contribution, please. Hello? Yes, I want you. Okay. Um, what I want to bring across to us is uh, this issue of uh, the, this platform. Please permit me, if outside what we are even discussing now, uh, but it's still part of our platform anyway. Uh, this uh, is it, uh, D, D, please, but let me just quickly start for it. Uh, it's one of our, it's managed by some of the admin anyway. Uh, just a minute. I will get the name. Right. Okay. D dot life TV blog. I think it's, it's one of our platform, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, please. I discovered that before now, we don't used to use uh, the no, they don't use the and, uh, one particular sister, precisely. I think Sister Chidima. She has always been posting daily mana, uh, children, uh, sincere meat, and the uh, every day on that platform. Since they locked up that thing, that sister could not have access to post all these things. And sincerely speaking, it has been a blessing to me. Because when I receive it, I used to forward it to other, ask it privately to some other person that I know very well. Please, I want you to keep it open. Please, I'm begging you, whoever is the admin of that uh, plat of that platform. And I've tried to contact the sister, although she didn't pick my call. I need to know this so that that will not discourage her. It will look as if maybe her work is not being recognized. She is doing great work. And, and by God's grace, I've been sending it to some people that I know, and God has been using it to bless people. Please, let's keep it open for that purpose. Because she has been posting daily manner on it every day. Daily manner, I every day, sincere meek. Please, for that reason, please, let's keep it open, I beg. Uh, Pastor yes. Shegu, uh, yes, sir. yes, yes, she is free to post that on that platform, but on the prayer request platform, she is yes. not allowed to, to post that there. That no, 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 it's not, it's not on the prayer request. I'm posting it over there. Huh? I think it's free, to make, it's free to post the late manner in that platform. She can do it. Uh, but it's locked. The thing is locked up now. It has been locked up for some days now, almost about two weeks now. Are you sure? So that means it is only the admin that can post in, in that platform. Only, only the admin. Only the admin. Please let us keep it open. I beg. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please. Ask me. Please. I want to ask this. Before we take a decision like that, let's. Yeah, the people in that platform are deliberately put the general worker in that platform. Let's brainstorm on this pastor's prayer meeting before we go ahead and take such decision. Now, somebody took such a decision and now limit people not to post only the admin to post on that platform. It put is not right. Whoever mm. that took that decision should have contacted other, other, uh, other administrators before that decision. Because that is it's, it's for public, it's for public for for every member to post whatever they want to post on that on that uh, on that uh, platform. But the, for the prayer request platform, there is a limit. It's only for prayer request. Do we understand? Please, we we'll keep that open. Thank you for your observation, Pastor uh, Pastor Shego. Thank you so much for your observation. I did not even observe that. Thank you so much. Our time is going. No, please, we time is going up and. 
If I say one or two three four random, I notice something that if you are a pastor and you are not moderating on a particular day, such pastor will not connect. It is when they are moderating, they will not connect on a prayer platform. I think that is not good enough. In all our prayer meetings, always get involved and get connected. I want to appreciate Pastor Mike. I, I, you can see him be on Saturday, you see him be on Thursday, even us hour on Thursday. Nigeria time, 11 to 12 is the us hour. After, after, I, after finishing preaching in the districts and church location, I will still come up again and come and need a prayer online on Thursday, 11 to 12. So please, let's endeavor, let's put more sacrifice. The Lord will bless us. The Lord Amen. God Almighty will prosper, will prosper our ministry in Jesus' name. Our time Amen. is up. Over to Pastor Matthew. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. For that statement, sir, it's not common from Pastor. No. Some people, they may have flat battery. Some, they may network. So, they may, they may be having meetings in church. Are you getting me, sir? Some, they may not avoid that at all. So mm. it's not that maybe a debate mm. uh, okay. yeah. Pastor Femi. Hello, Pastor Femi. Hello, sir. I'm with you, sir. Uh, you see that problem, what uh, Pastor Pastor Victor just uh, identified now, is a recurring problem. It's not just once. Like, even myself, I've observed it. And uh, it's not a good one. It means that if the person is not leading, you will not be online, you will not connect. And it's not a good one. You understand? You can't be having a flat battery all the time. And uh, you cannot be having a, what they call it, you cannot be so engaged to the extent whereby you don't even have the time. That every time you are always having this, having that. You know? It's only when it, it, we have spotted out people that before we come up with this, and uh, which is not a good one. I think, uh, Pastor Matthew, you help okay. us in that area. Pe okay. People that are concerned, please. Let's see how we can see how we can help. We know those who are grossly engaged, actually. But then, not to the extent whereby we don't even connect at all. It's only when we have our own time to lead. That's when we now see us on the platform. It's not a good one. It's not good at all. Please. Okay, okay. I understand. Pastor Shegu, uh, yes. Pastor Shegu, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, please. Uh, can I say this? Nobody in this platform is so busy than, than me. With all respect, every Sunday this this uh, platform Zoom from eight to nine thirty, we normally have follow up rep all over Lagos for Zoom meeting every Sunday, every Sunday from eight to eight thirty from from eight to nine thirty, every Sunday, and I will be in that meeting one and a half hour meeting. After that meeting, I will now connect again to pastors prayer meeting again. Do you understand? I will not say because I just miss at this uh, follow up rep meeting for all Lagos, all the rep or follow up in all the old group. We used to, we used to give weekly reports, and that report must get must get to the GS. That Sunday night before eleven fifty nine, it must get to the GS. And for this GTK, we must give report every blessed Sunday. I I will be in that meeting. Because I have to give reports of my own group. All, all group districts, I have to give reports. If I pay to be that meeting, the Lagos State Rep will have to call my attention. When it's your report, it's going to the GS. So if you talk about uh, being occupied, by God's grace, I'm full of activity, but I still create time. I challenged Pastor Mike. He told me that he went to work, and that time he used to come out very late. I understand Pastor, Pastor Mike, but yet, in that same challenge, Pastor Mike will still connect. I mean, it, we're all busy. Nobody is nobody, nobody is so busy. They will still connect. We can do it if we want to do it. Please, let's try to change. We will not be bringing the excuses. You know, we, we are pastors. There is a rate of commitment and consecration God expects from us. May God help us. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Over to you, Pastor Matthew. Share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 